Greetings. Are you expecting a miracle today? Well, I'm so glad you can join us as I talk about overcoming temptation. How is temptation overcome? Temptation is an enticement to sin. Although it is common to everyone, temptation by itself is not sin. Christ himself experienced temptation, even though he never sinned. God does not promise to remove temptation from you. You will always be tempted. He does promise, however, to help you overcome temptation. His power within you can overcome anything. As 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 states, The one who is in you, that is the Holy Spirit, is greater than the one who is in the world, and that is Satan. When you are tempted, God will provide an escape. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. And as it's stated in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Solomon gives you a practical advice in the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verses 14 and 15. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go your own way. When temptation comes, turn to God in prayer asking for deliverance. Walk away from the evil. Don't look at it. Don't talk about it. Don't touch it. James gives the simple answer to overcoming temptation. To whom shall you submit and whom should you resist? In the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7, Submit unto God and resist the devil. And note, James, chapter 4, verse 10, says, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Yes, uh, true words to live by and powerful words as uh, we continue our journey. And uh, keep in mind, you can uh, contact me through email or Twitter or uh, Facebook. And, uh, and if you'd like to give uh, financially uh, towards this ministry, let me know. But definitely keep us in prayers and, uh, and many blessings in Christ. And God bless.